Hello everyone, I'm Paul. Welcome to RC Phone Fighters. Uh, basically, this is going to be a video to kick off a brand new project that I'm getting ready to start. And actually, this is an idea that was emailed to me by one of our YouTube viewers named Calvin, who's actually a pretty good friend of ours. And uh, he suggested that I build this plane a long time ago. So I'm just getting around to building it. It's a UCAV, or U, uh, Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, that was kind of a concept by Lockheed. Um, I'm not sure if they even really ever built it, uh, but the plane is called the Saber Warrior. Um, they had a pretty cool video here on YouTube that was uh, talking about it. I'll put a link actually in the uh, video notes down here if you guys want to check it out and uh, learn a little bit more about um, what Lockheed was talking about when they were uh, getting ready to develop this uh, unmanned combat aerial vehicle. I'm not sure if they were uh, going to go forward and build it actually, but I thought it was a pretty cool looking uh, original design. So I kind of looked at that as the basis of the plane I'm going to be making. Uh, my plane is not going to be 100% um, based on that plane, but it's uh, definitely inspired by it and uh, somewhat resembles it. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, quick sketchup that I did and uh, go over what it looks like. Alright everyone, here's basically the uh, quick sketchup of the plane that I'm going to be building. Um, I'm going to call it the FF Saber Warrior because it is kind of loosely based on the Lockheed Saber Warrior. Uh, basically it's going to be featuring a KFM2 airfoil. It's going to be fairly large. Um, it's going to have a 30 inch wingspan. And for the power setup, I'm going to be using the Grayson Hobby Monster Jet. Um, the real um, design that Lockheed was developing, I guess, could be a manned um, aircraft also. They were going to have options to have it uh, with the actual pilot or um, as an unmanned aerial vehicle. And I haven't totally decided yet what I'm going to do um, when I actually build a plane, if I'm going to put a cockpit on it or maybe just make it smooth. Um, I guess I'll decide that as you get farther along in the build. Um, but basically, on the back end, it features um, two vertical stabilizers here that are going to be kicked out probably roughly at about 45 degrees. Um, it's going to be a mid-mounted um, pusher prop motor. Um, one thing that's not on the uh, Lockheed design was these uh, kind of big um, motor bul bulges, if you want to call them that. Uh, basically, I do that on a lot of the planes that I'm developing now because it helps make the rear end of the plane a lot more rigid. And it kind of gives it a cool look, so I just decided to put it on this plane too. Um, it's going to have a single... Um, elevator here in the center. So it's going to be basically three servos. I'm going to have one for the elevator and I'm going to have two ailerons. Um, basically it's going to be a, <laughs> pretty much a bank and yank type plane. Um, I guess if you guys wanted to modify it you probably could add on some uh, control surfaces on the two vertical stabilizers and uh, make it a V-tail setup. Um, but for the setup I'm going to be doing it's going to be similar to my FF-22 and FF-23 with the two ailerons and the elevator in the back. Um, basically at least for the original setup. So um, that's kind of the original concept that I'm going to be working on. So um, let's take a look at what I've got after this. All right, everyone, basically we're going to jump pretty far forward. I actually have the first concept plane actually built out of foam board here. This is a full-size concept. Um, it's the 30-inch wingspan. Um, as you can see, here's kind of the uh, lines and the look it's going to have. So um, I think it looks pretty cool. Hopefully it'll uh, prove to be a good flyer. Um, we're at the point I'm getting ready to paint the plane. So I'm going to be using some uh, testers gray paint, uh, probably for the overall coat. Then I'm going to be putting some sort of camouflage on it, um, kind of like the uh, concept drawings that Lockheed had. So I'll probably just be using gray and dark gray, and maybe even a little black to um, paint it. But um, let's take a closer look. All right, everyone, here's a quick view from the rear side of my concept design here. Um, as you can see, it does feature the uh, kind of V-tail of the vertical stabilizers. They're kicked out roughly at close to 45 degrees. Um, it does feature the uh, kind of motor bulge pods, if you want to call them that, on the back. I definitely like adding that. It makes the tail end of the plane nice and rigid and uh, quite a bit stronger than if you just had the single layer of foam board there. Um, here's the view of the elevator. It's a nice large single elevator in the back here. Um, I'm probably just going to mount the servo underneath the uh, main back piece here and control from there. Um, hopefully this will kind of affect it like vector thrust since it's right behind the pusher prop so it should give it nice pitch authority I'm hoping um, moving over you're going to have the the uh, ailerons on each wing and the motor will be mounted here like I said uh, it's going to be a Grayson Hobbies uh, monster jet um, I've got the battery slot kind of cut out already and I'm still not totally decided if I'm going to put a cockpit on here or I might just put a real low profile another piece of foam board you know to keep it as a UCAV or unmanned combat aerial vehicle look and um, basically that's kind of the way it looks from the uh, rear side.
All right, everyone, here's a quick view of the bottom side of the aircraft. Um, as you can see, it does feature a nice big um, air scoop at the front of the aircraft. And I think I'm just going to leave that open where it's kind of a flow through design. And I'll have the battery, basically, it'll be situated somewhere right under here. So that'll get nice uh, cooling for the battery. And the ESC will probably be somewhere near the back or somewhere. So hopefully some of the air will get back over that and keep it nice and cool. Um, but basically the real design had these kind of, it was a kind of a tri-hole design if you want to call it that. It had the motor, it had a single motor down the center. And it had um, kind of two pods on the side of the aircraft. And that's where you would house all the uh, bombs or missiles or whatever munitions the uh, UCAV would carry. Um, kind of the basic setup of this, since I had such a wide prop back here um, slot, I kind of moved out and added these two additional pods on the bottom towards the rear of the plane um, instead of continuing on with the uh, single pods on each side. Um, basically also because the foam wasn't long enough. So I think that'll keep it nice and rigid also and give it kind of a nice look from the side. Alright guys, well that's pretty much the uh, FF Sabre Warrior. I think I'm going to move on to get in into um, painting the plane first. And then I'll actually add on the electronics. And what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to make a smaller mock-up to do my glide tests. And I'll film that and add it into uh, the next part of the video that I'm going to make. Alright everyone, that'll pretty much finish up part one of the FF Sabre Warrior. Please stay tuned, I'm going to continue on building this plane. And hopefully get it out for some maiden flights uh, fairly soon. So uh, thanks again for your support, and uh, stay tuned. A lot more exciting stuff from RC Foam Fighters coming up.